Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss what panel control in Seesaw.net Windows Form. So let's go to Toolbox and uh, if you find difficulty to search the panel control, so from here you can search type panel. So right panel and you have to select this option. So enable you to group correction of controls. So this is about panel, enable you to group of correction of controls. So from here you can track the panel control. So this is a panel control. So at your floor layout to panel. So this all properties here you can find or uh, events. So now in this video I'm going to show you one example of panel control. So we need to take one button control at here. And uh, this not required. So I'm going to delete this one. And inside the button control. I'm going to write the code. So at your writing panel class. So here this is the class used to group correction of control. And you are giving the name of a panel class object P1 by using new panel. And uh, here after going to set the size sorry location. So at your location that is located uh, inside content upper left corner. So let's click on location. Now here after new and uh, here I'm going to find the point. So represent the order here of indicer x and y coordinate. So we need to set at your uh, x and y coordinate. So giving at your 40 and uh, 20. Now here after let's give the name of panel control. So P1 you can find at your name. So here I set the name of control. So inside at your going to write panel 1. Now here after setting the size of panel control by using size. So size here. Set size controls, get and set the height and width of the control. So, at here I am going to set the size of panel control 400 and 300. Now, here after setting the at your back color, so back color, color dot, so this time I am going to use arise color. And uh, here I am getting the error p one dot size equal to new size. Now the error on. So if you are going to execute this code and let's click on button so it's not showing anything. So for, for this we need to use at here or oh, controls class so controls class so get the correction of control content within the control. So here we need to add T1. No. If I execute the code this time, so this time here yeah, panel is displaying. So this is the arise blue. So it's not showing very clear. So at I'm going to change the background color. So giving add here yellow. Now execute one more time. So if I click on button, so see at here, it's a panel created, the size width 400, 300 and the name panel 1 and the background color yellow. Now inside the panel control you can add multiple controls. So for this we need to copy this one for save to save the tabs. Here. So inside panel control I'm going to create first combo box. So here I'm going to change back here combo box and giving the name of so this is the class and here the 
name of object is zero and here we need to write combo box one more time. Now here after changing here as a combo box. Now here background color inside the uh, combo box I'm going to set at a tomato and here we need to do one modification so I'm going to add the combo box inside the panel so we need to try it at a P1 here after controls dot add and here giving zero now here after we need to we need to set the size so this time here I'm going to give 200 and 30 and here the point giving 10 and 10 And here we need to change the object name C1 and inside the combo box we need to add some item. So here C1 dot items. So you want the combo box I discussed in my last video inject. So they are discussed in more detail. Here, giving name Sam and copy this line. And here, Sam. Here, Matthew. And here, giving the name John. Now let's execute the code. And here click on button control. So here this is the panel yellow color and this is the combo box. So inside the combo box I added these items Matthew, Sam, John. Now here after in a panel control you can add many items. So here I'm going to copy this one and next time I'm going to add add a checkbox. So inside the checkbox, this thing is not required. And uh, here, first I'm going to change the name or check box. So let's uh, delete at a right or checkbox. So let's sign at a this time going to give C2 the name of checkbox and here changing checkbox. Now here after going to give the point of checkbox 10 and here 30 and here changing the name or check box and uh, name here location so here giving the 200 so this is changing 40 and uh, color so this time going to use blue And here I'm going to add C2. And uh, here after change it the name. So we need to give at your C2. 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 And here. Now let's uh, see. So clicking on button. So here this is the checkbox created. And here, this is the combo box. 
So in one con panel control, I added a combo box and here this is the checkbox. Now next um, you can add text box here also. So for text box, you just copy this line and here you need to write at your text box. And here give the suitable name. I think Twitter and here or text box. So this time going to give at your hundred forty and here this is for or change the ten eighty and here for text box I am going to change the color. Black and P2 we need to add and yeah, let's change the name D D D D now let's execute so let's click on button so see right here this is black color text box created so add here, this is not a uh, uh, insuitable position. So this position I'm going to give at here 100. So this is the no right position. So inside you go text box, you can write any string. So it's not visible anything at here. So what we need to do, I am going to change the color. So I am going to write to oh, pink. Now let's uh, execute. So add here, this is the uh, combo box. And uh, here this is the check box and this is the text box. So inside the text box you can write anything. So in one panel control I added three controls. And if you want then you can add many controls. So this time and last time I'm going to show you no label controls. So add here. Just write the label. You add here L1 equal to new label. And here setting the size of label by use sorry location by using new so point I'm going to give 150 and 100 now here after L1 text so you can write text or name or the output would be would be same so at your giving Label control. Now here after oh, adding label into the panel, with, so we need to write at your P1 dot control and here we need to write add method. So here we need to add L1. So this is the way we can add the label. So it's a, a four line code for label. Now let's execute. And here, let's click on button. So see at here, this is a combo box. This is checkbox part here. This is a text box part. So you can write here, hi. You can select Matthew. Now this is a label control. So Mostly the panel control is used to add multiple controls. So this is the main use of panel control in CSR.NET Windows form. So this is the one example of panel control. And before you are using panel control, so you need to take three name as well. First is system, here after system trunk and Windows form. Previously, I discussed about how to create panel control and add multiple controls inside the panel controls by using code. 
So next thing here, you, know, you, you can directly use drag and drop. So just try to add your panel control. And over here, this is the panel control. So from here, you can increase the size of panel control. And one more thing. So here the size. So like whatever you like. So see, at your size location, it's changed. So this is all property of panel control. Here you find event. So inside the panel control, you can add to multiple control. So here I'm going to add one level control. So let's right at your level control. Drag the level control inside the panel. And here have to double click on our panel control. So this is a panel bent event open. So now here, let's write level one. And here, setting the location. Location of level. So here I'm going to use new point and uh, setting 150, sorry 160 and 100. And uh, here after uh, level one dot text. So text and here I'm going to add label control. Now let's execute. So see at here level controls it's the display. And if you want then you can change the background color of panel control. So here just try to panel. So panel one it's the same. So here write panel one dot or background color and your color top. So here you can select anyone. So let's select here black. Black to or hydra. Just right. Now let's execute. So at here, see at here, blue color, panel color change, and here this is the label text. So here in the form. And inside the panel control, you can add button control. Here you can add the checkbox control. So this is the one example of panel control in CSAW.NET Windows form. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So if you have any doubt related to this video, so leave a comment. Definitely I will reply. So now in this video, it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.